welcome to the Gus Ollie podcast on this beautiful Sunday. We got some pay per view. We got some TV shows reviews from AEW and WWE Rampage, WWE Rampage spoilers, some great new wrestling news. Plus, we recently got sponsored by WWE Shop. Now here it is. Eight Gus Ollie podcast is currently sponsored by WWE Shop. Is on my link tree in my bio on both my YouTube channel and my Instagram channel. Check them out on the bio links. I'm basically like link tree. And you'll see WB Shop. You will get like a fifty percent half percentage off to purchase your WB merchandise. You get like a Roman Reigns some related, like the Tribal Chief T-shirts and stuff. Go for it. Go get it. See you. So, yeah, this is what it is. Yeah, I'm basically sponsored by WB Shop. So, so get get your go go get your merchandise from WB Shop using my link. Go to my link train, click on my link. Like it's on YouTube bio links. Check them out, and even on Instagram, the bio links. Check them out. There's a link tree. Go for it. WB Shop. Yeah. Okay, let's go to the show. Let's let's start with Raw. Let's review Raw. WWE Raw result. Let's let's talk about Judgment Day beats Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, and the KI main event. So the Judgment Day remained the undisputed tag chain thanks to playing outside help. So three NIO members of Judgment Day enter Raw Monday night playing to lose. Every man in the group is set to defend the ties around their waist on, and all three were holding their belts in the main event. The Priest. Can manage and not retain the W. I mean, the W retain the WWE undisputed tag titles in a rematch with champions Owens and Sami Zayn as the way. Judgment Day laying on the line of outside events from the main chance. The shape of the group feels very much in flux as Jay McDonough continues to try to work his way in being an accepted member of the group. So let's go. So Judgment Day retained tag titles in a chaotic main event. Cody Rhodes opened the show ready to cut the promo really quick uh, by Judgment Day. The confrontation of a road saving Jay Uso from Judgment Day for beat down close previous week. Well, Juice went and ran the ring. Judgment Day they were ready to attack. Judgment Day greedy all set numbers advantage only for Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Yeah. Jimmy Dunham and Braun bare ch- pair of chairs. Hadn't wanted Finn Balor. They done it. Dominic Sierra then Nord. Damian Priest urging them to leave and instead ran to the ring, all end up on losing the end of the brawl. Later on, Priest yelled at McDonough, kicked him out of their back in the area, and said McDonough would never be in their group. So, now we go to the NXT American Championship. Dominic Sierra defeated Drake Lee by pinfall after Frog Splash. Lee was rolling towards the win, but ran to Mysterio backdrop that landed his crotch on the top row to help the finish, allowing Mysterio to retain with no interference. Yeah, undisputed. Tag to belts. The German Day defeating Owens and Sam by pinfall. Unsurprisingly, Mysterio ran to the ring early to create chaos. Distraction for Priest and Ballard. This brought out Uso to take up Mysterio. Uh, McDonough ran and helped Mysterio. Rose and ran out ringside, even the odds. But uh, Owens hit Priest with a stutter. McDonough hit Owens with one of the title belts, dropping him down on the Priest cover and retained the titles. As the German Day celebrate, Uso Rose ran back to the ring. All men, eight men brawled as the show went off the air. Honestly, it's nice to see WWE go back to overbooked television endings that were so prevalent in the late 90s, early 2000s. There were run-ins placed with eight men eventually involved. The situation protects everyone involved and allows a lot of room to answer the question, what's next? That's not exactly how Raw ended and let playing room to explore how to move the story before in the coming weeks. So what else happened on Raw? Bronson Reed defeated Otis by pinfall to Sami. Hugh Knox defeated Natalie by pinfall with a Shines Wizard. Becky Lynch spoke to Deacon Knox backstage with Lynch telling Knox that she believes Knox should be the next woman child for NXT Women's Chant. Then that Knox asked Pierce if he could get into the winner. The winner links to Lynch's title match in NXT. No mercy. Natalie erupted and Sue argued that Pierce suggested a match around Natasha being handed out. So yeah, Deacon Knox defeated Natalia. Something's happened for Deacon Knox. Okay. Tommaso Ciampa defeated Luke Kaiser by pinfall with jumping knee. Kaiser team had the match won, but the environment attended the referee lead to increased tension. And apparently, it was late confronting Ciampa who got an Intercontinental Championship match with Gunther, and two was signed a contract for that bout next Monday. Mm-hmm. Sus- 
Sugi Nakamura set the Seth Ross challenge for a match. A Nakamura video pack aired in the middle of Rollins' promo saying Rollins told him they were going to take. Nakamura would challenge for Rollins' world heavyweight championship, last man standing at fast lane. So now we got. Now we go to Nia Jax. We still with Stark by pinfall after Bond's eye drop. Stark from the Jax during the promo when Jax talked about all about the women she attacked since returning, calling herself the baddest human in the locker room. Mm. Dream McIntyre defeated Kofi Kingston by pinfall with a claymore. McIntyre and Kingston argued when McIntyre was on Men's TV, calling him out for not helping Jay Uso when he attacked New Day last Monday. Match of our Viking Raiders attacked Avery Wood. The ring's not providing stretch for McIntyre to get the win. McIntyre then struggled left in the ring, leaving Kingston to be attacked by Ivar. So, yeah. So, that was Raw. That was Monday Night Raw. In retrospect, that was a Monday Night Raw episode. So, yeah. Yeah, it was Raw. Let's go to Dynamite now. Mm -hmm. So, a mysterious group attacks Jay White on Dynamite this week. So, let's the regulation begin. So, at the end of this week's episode, a group attacked Jay White backstage. Members were covered from head to toe, so their identities were concealed. One of them stood off on the rest, and he was wearing a devil's mask. He grabbed the camera and cut off feed for the broadcast. The Devil Mask with members of NJF's own AEW World Champion called himself the Devil. NJF won the mask several times. It was introduced at All Out 2022. Mass individuals helped them win the Casino Ladder match. The fact that it was later to be the firm. Ray know where they are. They're current here. So if no members of the group were identified. Is either Kent and NJF to attack? He might got into a heat exchange on the show. White sets his sights on the world title, criticizing MJF, saying the clear tends to throw thrown the champ. So yeah. So yeah, pretty much uh, something like that, involving in like criticizing and stuff. So yeah. And yeah. And more like after dynamite, like Tony Khan pod of technical issues. Let's like he Tony Khan addressed the issues after the episode of Dynamite. U.S. and the United States would like to notice the broadcast Wednesday of Dynamite had persistent issues throughout the show. The audio cut out the, about the U.S. feed of the program, like drowning that sound, could be in at some points from the main segment. The, temp, the broadcast heavily cut out, but it resumes. So, yeah. So, basically, after when our air, like, Total Con uh, apologized for the issues with the U.S. feed of Dynamite. He wrote it, he understood the situation. There were issues at TBS with a new operating system. Con stated that international fees were not affected. He noted that TSN played the U.S. feed, so it had the same issues. So, additionally, Tony Con stated audio issues should be fixed for West Coast broadcast later on Sunday night. So, yeah, that was a. So, let's get to the rest of the show. Mm -hmm. Let's start with Jet Jarrett. Let's go to the rest of the show. Reed Phoenix, Jeff Jarrett for the international champion. So basically, mm -hmm. Phoenix dive on Jarrett. Jane Lethal before the bell. They brawl ringside. Phoenix take down Lethal to Hurricane. Heron rakes Phoenix back. Phoenix kicks Sonny Dud. Mm. The match has the ring where Phoenix get two count with it. And so Jarrett gains the upper hand, talks the crowd. Phoenix rocks the crowd with a series of strikes. So I'm saying interferes, um, like interferes, something like that. Mostly like that interferes. He gets involved, something like that. Jared dropped the champ, DET. Can interferes. Mm -hmm. Lethal and Jet attack Phoenix at ringside. Jet control the action, keep Phoenix grounded. Karen got involved. Aubrey Edwards chopped her down. Phoenix with a line, need more arm drag. So it's Jared. Jared hit. Phoenix below the belt, and that's a two count. Side like cradle, Jerry hits the stroke, but Phoenix got his foot a rope. Phoenix cradles, Jerry scrolls the three count. So Phoenix retains the, the international champion, Ray Phoenix. Then we go to video package. Adam calls on Crotchy, says MJ went to celebrate his dad's boat. They had fun. Things got serious with MJ. Questions Cole for be on the phone with Roderick Strong. MJ puts his diamond, diamond ring on, but he denies Cole's question. He's going to hit him with Cole. Said he has more than one friend. He cares about Cole. They made up as they fish. They catch Captain Insano. Insano comes back on board, and they drink together. Mm. Yeah. Then we go to Don Kaos, Kanosuke, showing in Japan. Kaos said they're hunting Kota and Bushi. Then we go straight to the like the segment. Kota and Don Callis. God Callis called with several guys to join Kaz's family. Kaz said he's having a Guevara free of Jericho's toxic influence. Kaz introduces Guevara, cuts the footage of Sansakashi at Bushi's jump. 
Takashi attacks the student, brawls with Bushi, calls, hits a cows, hit Bushi with an umbrella. Takashi hit Bushi with a kettlebell. Takashi chose Bushi with his jacket back in the ring. Cow said Don Cass family has never been stronger. Guevara says Hero is that Jerome. Come. Was the villain said Joe kick cutting him down and tiny fly. So yeah, not to himself. Kyle's vows that his family will be Omega, Bushi, and Jericho. A Via Pat, we can dance in the winter with her. It's an it's never been pinned. I should my Europe. You don't know it's a child prick. All fires, no substance, child starts to face it. So yeah, he starts. So Yuta basically trying to start to match at Wrestle Dream this Sunday. So yeah, it, which after Wrestle Dream will be reviewed on Monday, and at the same time we upload it on Monday. So stay tuned for that. Winner earns AEW International Championship match. Let's go to that. Brian Cage, Prisoner versus Casanoli, Nick versus Nick Johnson. Jackson dumped to the outside. <laughs> Cage, Casanova squared out, trade blows. Nick dies on to Casanova and Cage at ringside. Um, um, Casanova gets her upper hand. Cage and Casanova kept battling. Casanova plants Cage with a face buster, drops Casanova to the ringside. Hits a 450 spot for a two count. Casanova puts Cage in a swing. Getting, I don't know. Jackson hits Casanova to the outside. Cage has a jacks outside because of two count with a fifth ten. Cage suplex Casanova for a two count. Casanova Jackson rock Cage with some strikes. Casanova take, I mean Casanova takes Jackson out with an uppercut. Drops Cage with Lariat. Casanova power by Cage. Jackson says Casanova the outside picks Cage. Winner Nick Jackson. We go to another video package. The Righteous hype up the looming clash. MJ and Cole. Vincent calls them fake friends. In her English, Sanja NJ Adam Cole. NJ Adam Cole comes out. Cole is on the crutches, like his bandage. Cole said, This is a sad child of the story. Ankle exploded, broke into three places. Cole said, He'll do everything he can, come back as soon as possible. So they said, He'll have relinquished storage, world tag champions. champions. NJ caught him some up. He's like, In the mud, he said, we'll Keep the tile so they will be waiting when Cole's get back, as Cole gets back. NJ said he'll face the Righteous in a handicap match at AEW Wrestle Dream. Righteous Strong comes out. He's in the hospital, ground, in a wheelchair. <laughs> then NJ calling Strong a simp. It's that strong as Cole's boy. He has respect that NJ told Cole he'll be waiting for him when he gets back. Hug. Cole walks out. Crutches to the back. NJ gets wrecked by Jay White. Bull Cup Gold. White said NJ was a minute, 10 minute by Bull Cup Gold. NJ says White must be a soft strong on the grass. He makes fun of Jay White's go go goatee. This engine makes his people move his goal posted in the bottom until he would hit here he was no Jay White. NJ says the show is all about engine when he's in the ring because nobody is level. He says White has managed to convince fans he's tofu. And just said tofu could take out any flavor, but you have add something to it. He says white, you've been getting everything to succeed. And just say you can take away bullet club and everything else. Jay White is a boring, bland tofu. To food. He says White is all hype and he's a mass market version of someone of what someone in Japan draws as a top guy. NJ gets some advice telling him to leave. He said he doesn't. Fans were saying White may be good, but he's no NJ. White responds by fans chant tofu and him says NJ is distracted by it. Cole White said fans don't love NJ the way they live. Cole love Cole said they hurt him hurting Cole at, and for Mendor let the NJ's friendship with Cole. So everything has followed. White says he's here to ruin NJ's life. White tells MJ he needs to find another level to stop from taking the titles. He will champion when he beats NJ. White says this is a switchblade era. NJ has gone swath off. NJ gets soft, fired up, prepares to fight. White rolls out of the ring. NJ posed with the title. There's White down. Interview TNT champion Crash Cage and Darby Allen. We go to the interview. Cage says he's been champ this whole time. He told Darby Allen, like, Darby Allen, uh, he told, uh, he told, like, Darby Allen, tells Darby Allen that he will get exposed at Wrestle Dream. Cage, Allen says Cage won't be able to beat him in saddle. He won't have to won the title. And 
and say, oh, before he'll do it again. Cage tells Alan to bring everyone out, everyone, but Alan won't tell him to use Nick Wayne. Christian Cage says Wayne needs a true man and a champion. Alan washes his face paint off, and Christian Cage is saying, again says he will expose Alan. Mm -hmm. So we go to another match. Ash Cassidy versus Austin Gunn versus Matt Jackson versus Penta Zero. Matt and Penta go back and forth. Matt sends outside Austin to the outside. Cassidy takes Jackson down an arm drag. And Penta and Cassidy down hit a leg drop. Gun swears over Penta. Penta drops chalk. Rocks mount a kick. Cassidy either kick two. Austin drops Penta from behind. Takes a choke. Counts Cassidy. Austin superplex Penta. The competitors trade superplexes. Cassidy drives onto Penta. Man drinks side. Matt drops Penta on destroyer. Cassidy spikes Austin with a destroyer. Jackson superplexes. Cassidy and Austin Penta at the same time. Cassidy drops Sin Jackson up. Beach break. Eight. All credits kick Austin. Kicks her back on. Cassidy pins Matt Jackson. Orange punch. Cassidy wins. Okay, Will now go for Jilla Hart with Brody King. Will comes down and his bandage. She takes a fight at heart. Horner but Will empowers her. Imagine. Mary. Julia attacks Willow from behind. Julia gains upper hand, guns, Willow, Willow rides a slam, Willow skates heartless, drops Julia with pounds, heart pins Willow with a moonsault, Julia Hart wins, Julia Hart locks in the heartless in the bell, TBS Chairman Sandler makes a save, Julia Hart, Sandler, and Dressel Dream, you already know, we go to the main event, the contract signing, Hangman Page and Kurt Strickland, Page and Strickland came to the ring, Swerve said, said he's been impressed by Hangman's fire lately, he says they are on his horse, Walk into the lion's den. Strickland made clear they are different from each other. Page thinks Swift weighs about him. Admits that he has felt a black cloud over his head. Hangman notes there have been some highlights, but he struggling. Says he weathered the storm. Page says he some realized that people deserve from him. Hangman says Strickland will get his best at best aid of Wrestle Dream. Strickland called Page message more pathetic and endeavor Brosco, Bro, Broncos. Serve Sweat says it could have been anybody, but it had to be Hangman in the position he wanted. So he might have mental health problems. He can make enemies every day. He vows to take Paige's position for him. Hangman says that for every office he had, he knocked out of the park. Paige says Sweat doesn't have to take to fill his boots. Sweat slaps him. Hangman stabs a hand with a pen, and the security separates them. Then we go to the main Eggman. That we talked about early on in the beginning on the Dynamite review, Masked Men attack Jay White backstage. So there's some mystery. So basically, and someone wearing MJ a double mask turns on the camera, turns it off after he attacked Jay White. So who could be one that attacked Jay White? All right, let's. It's a mystery to it. We'll find out this Saturday or this Saturday collision or Wrestle Dream. Stay to either one of them. Stay to either one of them. So you can find out who the masked man is. Mm-hmm. The masked man. So let's go to... How should I put this? Um... Uh, well, let's go to the random page spoilers. Let's do that. Mm-hmm. Mm, I'm pretty much not going to review... Let's do spoilers for Rampage. So, I don't know about the zero hour for Russell Dream. Let's do Rampage. Mm-hmm. Diaz, the acclaimed, retained the AEW World Trio Champion victory over the Hardys as Butter Zay. Good for them. Eddie Kings to beat Robert Romero to retain the IWGP Strong Overweight Champion. This was described the best of the match, the entire Rampage tape. Like Kabara Shibata confronted Kings after the match was over. Mm -hmm. The Righteous defeated two jobbers. The Hikoshi Shida. Picked up a win over Ruby, Ruby Soho, which means Sheeta will challenge Saria for AEW Women's World Championship on October 10th. Title Tuesday episode Dynamite. Can't wait for that. That one is the female main event. I'm just telling you this. So, 
That's right, a rampage. So yeah, mm-hmm. that's pretty much that. And yeah, all right, let's go straight to ROH now. All right, let's get to ROH review now. Let's get to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Move out more outrunners. I'm in ROH TV. Let's start the match card. Rowdy versus G Lee. G Lon. G Lee Johnson. Ethan Page versus Rohit Raju. Lee friends. Frost versus. Billy Starks, Atch Andrade, Darius Martin versus the Outrunners, Laney Luck versus Leah Hirsch, Jimmy Jacobs versus Shane Taylor, Stars of Castle and the Boys versus Ren Jones, Trenton Tormenta and Xavier Walker, Cole Carter, Jeff Garrison versus the Infantry, Mercedes Martinez versus Allison K, Iron Savages versus the Gates of Agony, Brian Cage versus the Mental League. So this is right to ROH TV. Let's go, let's go, let's go to our TV. Match one, Josh Woods versus Braden Irving. Clinch in the corner, some knees in the wood, twist and suplex and buckle, a tilt of woods finito. Winner, Josh Woods. Match two, Scuba Sky versus G- Tony Nice. Nice start early, but retreats at the back by dro- Sky drops, trips Nice up and catches a military cradle for two. Nice tries to bail, but Sky follows and throws him back in the ring. Dylan drags, drags Sky and Nice drop kicks from the ring, kicks him from the ring. Nice throws Sky. Guy to steal steps and Sterling gets into the boots behind the referee's back. Back in the ring, ref both men same chops. Macho man neck drop over the top by Nice gets two count biases by Nice and I rug lush and leg sleep. Guy up and dump Nice with a back suplex. Knee lift by Sky, a big lariat. Sky misses a big boot, but rebounds to Sky high, gets two kill. Nice runs a big boot. Sky goes up. But eats a, a uppercut, sunset flip up by top by Sky, but Nice rolls through, catches a huge knee to the face. Nice backflips off on a German suplex, but catches him, Sky catches him with TK for the win. Winner is Cuppy Sky. Match three Lee Johnson versus Gravity. Both men grapple the start, they trade arm ringers, catch the straight. <laughs> Pull their blood by gravity, earned drag by Johnston. Two, Marshall right up for two, jump by double jump, wrist lock, wheelbarrow roll up two. He's draw kick by Johnson for two, hammer throw by Johnston. Ten push outs in the middle of the ring, big boot by gravity, forearm sends Johnston to the ground. Springboard stone splash on the top of the floor, diving Mexican and drive on top by gravity. Right into the cradle gets two, snap power slam by gravity, standing moonsault gets two. Johnson ducks a high kick, plants gravity with dun- blue thunder bomb for two. Gravity goes up on a suplex but eats a super kick. Two, cra- cradle by gravity for two, and a super kick to Johnson. Vertical suplex by giant gravity and stone splash off the top wins, gets the win. Winner, gravity. Match four, Billy Stars for Athena versus Lady Frost. Dark's catches a charging Frost with a little elbow, send it out to the floor. Athena wants Billy to throw Frost in the stats, but Billy chooses, chooses the ring instead. Frost uses that control, control and top Stars in the corner, and Frost runs on Stars in the corner, falls up a man spear. Frost cartwheels over Stars, his draw can back in the head, Starks over his hand, throw, and both women draw in exchange elbows. Net break on the knee by Starks. Super kick out of two adjustment. Starks gets two. Frost cartwheels into the air raid. Crash at Frostbite. One, two, oh no. Athena break out the pin behind Ruffy's back. Under Styles clash by Starks. Get the wing. Pin. So, Billy Starks wins. After the match, Athena attacks the Lady Frost as Billy Starks pleads with her to stop. Athena looks for a curve on the title, but Starks takes the bell away from her. You go to match five. All wide for start and Martin Andrade. Ade and Magnus start. Wrestle off by Andrade. Tag to Martin. Comes up with a pair of arm drag. Double stop up by, the, by, pair, by Martin. But Tyro Floyd got the tag. Headlock by Andrade. But shoulder block by Floyd. Headlock tag over by Andrade. Both outrunners. There are drag kicks by Andrade and Martin. Andrade and Martin look for Sterling. Millen Styles by like turning out. Both guys crash on the floor. Double by slam by the outrunners. Drawdy holds up Magna referee back his turn. Double knee by Magna twisting vehicle to by Martin. Double recall attempt by the round runners. Drawdy hit an integrated tag by Martin. Martin cleans house clothesline. Magna drive. 
a mill rope diving cross by outside by Martin, side moons up by Ferrari and Floyd, a floor shotgun, drop can. German Silvers kick combo and said no, Nelson, and this one's over. So, winner is under 180, Darth Martin. All right, match six, Lane Luck versus Leah Hirsch. Murray hit ringside, back kick by Luck, running boot to the face, suplex by Luck. But Hirsch up German silver by Hirsch, two straight arm bars, and this one was over. Leah Hirsch. Match seven, Shane Taylor, Lee Murray versus Gene Jacobs. Taylor shows Jacobs to the Gruffalo fan, chain chops. Jacobs chase Taylor and gets to the town and sends the outside. Side of suicide died at Guilty and Choke, but Taylor throws him. Hit belly to belly. And the ring. Ring, Jim Bill by Taylor. Ring closes in the corner by Taylor. Ring by Taylor. Big man smash two. Man by, by Taylor, but Jacob put it. Bumps that. Oh. This is disastrous. And then he does his own one. He's sitting there on his neck. If you were there. Chance by Jacob. Taylor runs a big blue corner. So this is all to Calor, but this is a lead boy. So it looks at him. That's the way. And now he looks at him. So Jay's gonna go here. So trying to stay this. So Taylor's not right with right, a spinning wheel on the land for the win. Shane Taylor. So, oh, he was a man. He just. His face, so much anger to the owner. Oh, he just spit. So many problems. And then he says, oh, this out. This is gonna hit again. That's gonna get worse. He ain't no problem. He, this is gonna get bad. Suspend. I would talk this out. He started to learn how to handle things better. It, uh, sorry, it's all ain't going. Match eight: Don Cat, da- Dalton Casper, and Boys versus Ren Jones, Avery Walker, and Trenton Tormenta. Matt returned by Castle. <laughs> Matt returned by Castle. Drop kick by Boy One. Zayer brings Boy One to the corner. Triple team in the corner. Zayer with a B rig right and when Castle gonna attack, clear the ring with clotheslines. Hang on, Matt returns Zayer and now the brawl. Tormenta gets dumped to the outside. Boy 2 hits an ace crusher to Jones. Bang a rain to Walker. And this one's over. Dalton Cass and the boys. Winners are winners. We go to match nine. Infantry versus Cole Carter. Greg Garrison. Schuldberg. Andre by Garrison. Bravo. Tied the corner. Bravo, Bravo connects on a dying elbow. Back to Dean. By slam. PK to Don Combo gets two. Bravo comes up top with axe handle. But Ca- Carter catches on stomach. Right hand. Double slam. The bro- <sighs> Duck. Against him, got hit by Carter. Charge trigger by Dean. Tied the broad full Nelson to his face around the world by Dean. Two count. Diving close on a corner. Diving cross body off the top. Gets a 2 1 Carter. Barrison makes a tape. Cross the right hand of Garrison. Power right hand of Carter. Boot can of Carter. But Murray presses the direction. And Tristan Dory comes over to Usher back to the stage to the arena. Uh, Carter rolls up. Bravo from behind with his feet up for the rolls for the win. Cole Carter, Griff Garrison wins. Match 10, Alice K versus Mercedes Martinez with Diamond. Match quick and spills outside. AK flat jacks, but still apron back in the rain, spinning back suplex by AK. AK looks up for a drive by by a corner, but Diamond pulls Mercedes safely. AK follows Mercedes, the easy elbow flies out the apron to floor. floor. Mercedes in control, putting the boots at AK on the outside, pinning back in the rain. Tinas connects to a big boot at the corner, draw kick to the seat at AK. Two count. AK Heist back swing net breaker. This is a quarter charge. Martinez set up AK on top. Only super kicker to the floor. Will Bear cut up by Diamond on the floor. Around Tia's hit charging knee and the Fisherman Buster for the win. Martinez, Martinez wins. Match 11. Aiden Page will repeat Raju. 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 Raju attacks the ring corner corner. Page runs through him with a big shoulder block. Back all by Page. Delayed vertical suit. Raju missed a close up. 
page plates open up Rago Plex like slam. Raju flows through, hits a twisted net break, a big boot by Raju in the corner. Page up, comes up with a bomb rope and assists the cutter for Adele Du. Page wins. Now we go to the main event. Brian Cage versus Middle of the Week. Cage is a straight Earl sets Malik over and over. Integrate my Malik. Cage just catches cross by Malik, sends him to the floor, hits the zip, mentally drives. Cage catches and powers on him against the ring post. Back in the ring, Cage charges on the European uppercut and makes the end great to the corner. Two count happen. Malik traps up, trips up a charging Cage. It's a clothesline. It's going to win a night cage. Two count. Dead lip. Ten by cage by mentally. Counts for spring by hurricane. Around inverse ring blade. Rub rock. Kick by mentally. Root walk. Posture outside. Inside the ring. Double jump. Slash smash by mentally. Two count. Mentally. And pick up cage. He goes up. The guy up top. The cage. Touch up to top. Mentally. Missouri's redying root. Red on the corner. Two count. Mentally. It's a rope walk. And then try to help him. He depends on Lake or Bomb to count. Um, Metal Lake tries to have scissors, but Dave Connors and Metal going to drive for the win. Brian King wins the main event of Ring of Honor. So, yeah. Yeah, that was a Ring of Honor show review. That was a Ring of Honor. So, yeah. That was a Ring of Honor TV review. Uh, I'll get, let's get to SmackDown now. All right, let's get to SmackDown review. Let's get to it. Okay. Knight save Cena, sign the contract team up, take on the bloodline, fast lane. Mm-hmm. The wait for lonely night, we see a major body, every permit, maybe over. Knight ends bad on Friday by only saving Cena, but Blake down has a bloodline, but find a contract team with Cena on fast lane. Cena was briefly over Cena and a bloodline beat down to close the show when Knight saved the save, sign on to see his partner, and up cut here review, much of Cena's delight. So let's get to it, it's bad though this week. Elaine Knight signs contract beat John Cena's partner. G Uso defeated Carl Zai Pitfall with Uso Splash. Carl Erisak tapped Uso Sokola at the Bloodline Cut Show with promo. Bloodline ran down Cena said he wasn't at the show yet. He was having transportation problems. Then NJ Styles also not there. He was watching SmackDown in the house about that attack. That's right. This brought out Anderson and attacked the duo to an immediate match. Media match. Sokola also attacked Anderson after the match. Mitchin then came out of the Bloodline. Bloodline was walking toward the back. Dropping Uso with a slap. A furious Uso is close. And most of the attack is a talent security backstage. We seemingly target anyone who had to cross their path. Cena arrived at the arena. His player promised that he would read a fire time where face a face a bloodline and fast line. We go ahead with match on the one. Uso is to made a way out. Uso tells Cena they live in the message their backstage attacks that anyone who teases with Cena will get got. They led to a brief brawl for LA Knight, made a save, grabbed the contract, sign it, and celebrated Cena. The show went off the air. So the sh- so let's 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 get to it. What else happened? I spout up before the main event. Mm-hmm. Lashley appeared on Grayson Wall Effect. Made it, he made it clear he needs to find a new tag team to roll with after Dawkins didn't take the advantage of the interference. This brought out the street pop, but profits. But Lashley left Ryder to speak to them. Matter tell them to prove it when they try to work things out. Also, there is the Fiat Grand Gambling Gardens by Pinfall with A-Town now. There was the confronted Dragon who was seated in the crowd on the right side. The United States Champion Ray Mysterio defeated Santos Escobar by Pinfall with a little bit counter to the fans of driver. There was a long match with two LOW teammates with near falls, a lot of drama. <coughs> After the match, the Street Profits attacked Escobar and Mysterio just brought last year clapped approval for helping the province take out the rest of LWO as Dragon Lee was held back. In the crowd by security, later in the show, LWO challenged the Free Profits at last year to a match at Fastlane. Charlotte Flair defeated Bailey, Bailey by pitfall with Spirit. Flair made it clear that before the match, he planned to beat Bailey and challenge Eel Sky for the title at Fastlane. After the match, Bailey said that Flair should get the job to lie. She played in Flair, and they were going to do that before Edge Control could attack Oscar ready to, ready to start, though. And Bailey and upset Sky by saying if Oscar wanted to be the triple threat match for Flair and Sky for the title of Fast Life, she got it. So, yeah. That was pretty much what happened. I spat down. Spat down was pretty much crazy action. Some moments and stuff. And you think about. But uh, yeah, 
Well, anyway, the show ended with Hot with Knight making the save, signing the contract. Fans have been demanding WWE to see Knight as a level star they could do. This was a big step in the direction. Cena is already giving Knight a bigger rub at Bayback, refining Knight's match with Miz, raising Knight's hand after the match, despite nearly coming in blows previously. Now Knight gets full Cena rub, with Cena being extremely excited as Knight signed the contract. Smart booking, that makes sense. Get the fans what they want, motherfuckers. So yeah, that was SmackDown review. So yeah, SmackDown's review. So it's a little short review, but you know, also SmackDown was pretty much a show if you think about it, and you know, that was pretty much SmackDown. You know, all right, let's go to the news because at this point, let's do the news. I- I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I mean, I mean, let's let's go to Collision now. Let's go straight to Collision. Sorry about the news. That's out to Collision. Sorry. All right. I'll go straight to Collision now. All right. Let's get to Collision. Yeah. Collision. Ooh. Collision. This is the Go Home Show. This week's Go Home Show. Before Wrestle Dream, which is tonight. Mm hmm. Let's go to it. Let's talk about it. This week was this week's Collision was broadcast from Climate Pledge Arena, Sonata, Yada, which is so the host of, of tonight's Wrestle Dream pay per view. Collision for last night host of Clan Patch Arena, Seattle, which was the host of, again, t- tonight's Wrestling Dream pay per view. So, on tonight, we had two consecutive Saturday, AEW went head to head with WWE, Batpill, Brian Nance, Yuta, Rita Tior, Pagan, some of their opponents, and Ricky Star, all an eight man dream tag with eight man, t- like a all star tag with. With Run Dreamfo, Zajir, True on commentary. Mm-hmm. We all see Jericho and Mega in action against Gates of Agony. Andrade, Ido Holt continues his battle with BC Gold when he took he says Juice Robinson, Kingdom vs. Best Friend. You know, next strong and Wiener Punches and more. Uh, let's, get, let's get to the show. So, Collision kicks off with quick pre tape promos from Bill Starks. Open, often open, FTR, Danielson, Yuta, hype up the eight man tag for later tonight. Um, El Idolo defeat Robson, CJ Hot Fuzzball White is watching the match to backstage. JY is not in back building due to attack by mass people on Dynamite. The rest of the book are glows ringside and dry moonstones crash landing early in the match. Later on, Juice Paul bombs, Andre beating him, F Ring distract him. Mm. Andre comes. Running knee, dropping knees into the corner, goes for a few for a leg figure eight leg lock. The guns get involved for Andre and Jackson. Juice rolls up Andre and Chaos when you're full. Andre nails back elbow and then hammerlock the ET for the three count. So yeah, Andre wins. Yeah, Jericho and Mega cut a promise to edge stage. Hyping up their tag match tonight. Chris and Kate don't like each other, need to figure out they even cause this to the tag team. T- and he promises they're going back and they're going to be great. They probably take out Don Cass from Wrestling Dream. Yeah, we also have the next iteration of Tony Storm. Storm Storm. Pete. Time. I'm going to pie on his face. Good enough to get by. World of God. Where it takes the star. She is no hair. She's nice. Floridian is above her level. Oh. All right, the kingdom beat beat the feet of best friends. Chuck Taylor, Tra- Beretta, is stop. And sorry for the jackets. Chuck Taylor, in the ring says. Ben trying to apologize to Chuck for some steps. But Chuck turned into a death ball drive for holy shit chain. Best friend do the hug and run into his Sarah apologize on the heels. Ben just barely gets his foot on the ropes at the referee counts to three. Tavia crotches Chuck on the ropes. Best friend's getting nailed two low blows behind referee's back. The Kingdom put away spy apologize for the three count. Kingdom cut a promo out for saying they had to catch a red eye flight to get back to strong. Tavia knows the ankle has delayed his surgery. If they ever meet any of the cold, they'll meet there at Roddy's house. 
Don Callis caught talking to Nana in the back. Nana tells Mraz he'll be in the money when he gets a take a Jack on Omega. Okay. There's a hype video promoting Chris Stanley versus the Dream Heart Wrestle Dream. Chris says that Spiggy Little Bitch is no match for her. Gia Hart defeated Brett Vixen. This is on squash, but it's a show. If a heart scored a victory by a pinfall in Moonstomp. Hart has not lost in 523 days. Commentator Julia grabs the mic, calls out Stanley. Stanley walks out. Brett is around. The boy came from the. So she can't avoid defeating the undefeated. Her time's up at Wrestle Dream. Uh, Claudio talks to Pete Table about what keeps him, even though he's not a ring of a world champion, challenges anyone to fight him at Wrestle Dream. The challenge is answered by Josh Barrett. Dream matches sword on Zero Hour pre show. Kenny Omega quits Dragon to defeat Gates of Manny. Dragon may hot tag later. Fox trying to lock in a lot of tamer. No avail. Kenny back in there. Beat Dragon for diving over the top rope. Dragon uh, successfully locks in the for the submission victory. Um, Omega yeah, and Jerry didn't have any problem getting along with this. Celebrated a win afterward. They cut a promo saying it's time for for Elijah Alpha and Omega to end Don Callis' family. Rebushi on their side. Jericho calls Sam go by the ultimate Judas. Go to ruin Sammy's dreams. The entire life by taking all his questions on Sammy and Wrestle Dream. Rachel's had a pre tape promo at Wrestle Dream plan to take away the one thing Hills Andrew Cole and Jeff together the Orange World Tag Tales. There's a hype video for Wrestle Dream main event at Christian Cage with Darby Allen Falls match for the TNT Championship. Rachel's defeated Drew's Crease, Eckris, and Trish Williams. He'll make quick origin runs in across the ramp for them. I just got a promo in the match. The devil. And then they TMK cut a prom back to edit it real time. Then, uh, do the catch by scissor. Bill exchange blows in the middle of the ring. Bill have a college house so here on the Okay, the ball continues the match over everyone. Clears out of the ring for Sabre Jr. to confront Danielson. Shove Brian comes to fire with a slap to the face. Danielson, I grab the arm for a hold, but Sabre get the hell out of there. Collision goes off the air with dancing and music playing. Buckle looking down at Sabre outside the ring. So yeah, that was collision. So yeah, it was a nice touch. Yes, yeah, so all in all, collision was somewhat of a good episode, I think. So let me get 
Let me read the ending. I'm telling my ending. My thoughts on Collision. Okay. As far for Power Hat pay-per-view going shows, this week Collision did a good job covering all major feuds. Give us counters to sell Sunday card. And this show dance and Saber was right called. Like, and one of the most interesting matches of Seth for Dream. And you know, Love sent the best Bell of Bell. They sent Rain from Good and Great. Pack up in Tony Storm and RJ City. Russell Dream has a solid card book. We'll see if you good show. Let's hope everyone makes it a sit on one piece. Uh, all right, that was like collision. That was a collision review. So, yeah, collision review. Let's get to the wrestling news. All right, let's get to the wrestling news. We had a great night before night of collision. Last night's collision was good. Let's go straight to the news now. Pretty much. Mm hmm. A story Eddie Kingston's interview. Eddie Kingston on his critics. So like people says whatever I'm, they want about my look. They don't bother me. They don't know my work I do. They don't know my stuff. Do a gym. They know what I do in my Thai Thai. You know what I mean. They don't, they have to stretch for hours. Just get a bit loose. Take hot back, cold shower, jump in the ice bath, do sauna after every work. Well Thai Thai class, they did jutsu class, you know. Like Jinjutsu classes and like I said Jinjutsu oh shit. Like I let's see. Like let's say like, Jinjutsu class I'm starting it back and again. Um just a minute. Uh if what I'll I'll continue I just need a couple seconds. Oh, yeah, I'm back. Okay, on my cheat meals, this is from Eddie Kingston's interview. On my cheat meals, they say maybe I go a little bit too far. I'm going to do me. At the end of the day, people don't know what I do for this. Then we go to Eddie Kingston, if I fight for, I had my moment in the ring. I was thinking of defending it, but I was like, power being a ring of our world champ. But this is it. The world, cha- world champion, so I said more to go, you know what I mean? We got any case on Cody Collins' roster, any Collins' roster. Tell you care about what I was saying. Times I tell him, why do you care when you don't care about why you care? You know, company stays open. He goes, Eddie, I'm paid. I'm so I can to care. So Eddie can't sound Tony Collins by ad free shows. I look Tony Collins to death. Good human being sometimes. He's too good. That's my opinion. Tony has a big heart. I love the man. I love him because he's a big one. He listens to our ideas. Fucking horrible. I heard guys pitching and stuff asked me to say like it's bad, but he'll have to sit there and listen. I should try to work with the guy. Mm-hmm. Any kids were really assigned where you've been four more years. Everything about me, I can't just sit down and look down low. Because I'm up, I got four more years. Wait. No one knows what. One knows. No, I'm on. I wish I shit. I got my shit. I'm on. There's nowhere to see. I want to be. Eddie Kingston and critics. People are going to say whatever they want. I look that's about work I do. They don't know what stuff I do at gym. They don't know what I do at multi You know what I mean? They don't know that much of our business. Take a hot bath, cold shirt, jump in the hospital. Shout out to every workout, every multi diet class. I'm starting again, back into it again. On my cheat meal, they say, man, I go a little bit too far. Do me and then they people. All right, now we go to the media call with Tony Khan from this week from Muscle Dream. All right, all right just a minute, a second. Right, get in the cage, bell. Cage, it's trying to go to sleep. I just want to put the dog in my cage to sleep, okay? I'll be back. Sorry. Sorry. All right. So let's continue on. All right. Everything is said. I just need to do it for a minute. 
Sorry, everyone. Um, okay. All right, let's get to the media call now. Mm-hmm. Hey, right, Tony TK asked about Jay Cargill. His thoughts about having with WWE. So Tony said, "Great having her in AEW. She always welcome here." She says she has a great run with them. She has a great future. Tony Khan is asking about monthly pay per views. If there will be on a PM platform soon. So honestly, I don't know. But let's find out what's after while I go to the bathroom for a minute. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apple Dream. Mm-hmm. Alright, she says, she, like, Tony Khan says she's always welcome here. She said she had a great run, though. She had a great future. Okay, well, oh, yeah. Tony Khan asked News, and it will be on the stream. Tony Khan says she never, he never stopped planning on going to my news, but he didn't talk about all the shows they've done over the last couple of months. Heights, Russell Dream, Reaction. He says that Russell Training is a follow-up the best of the running pay-per-views they have done as a company. Talks about the success of a Grand Slam. Tony Khan says he's planning out, he's hoping to play AEW events on a stream platform. They're close to in the current media deals. The media rights package or something he would like to do. And Tony Khan said they will get to have more events. They said never say yeah, he would do more. Um, nine, 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 ten months. He doesn't know. He says that, that the top choice for Shane would be Max. Max talks about his relationship with Warner. And they have built a good point where it's a big <coughs> band made for events. I'm telling you, it's asked about the injury and call a Grand Slam. Match and Trent Russell Jr. is righteous. Tony says that the match is completely for event. He says that they already dressed a cold dress on time my speak. <coughs> SRS asked asked Tony about rumors that he's purchasing in Japan. Tony says it's good that Russell Jr. is real speculation. They heard the rumors that overall is peace with working with New Japan and their partnership. All the time they worked together for the past couple of years, they want to continue their partnership. She said, speculation for you. I should say yes or no. Tony has Russell Jr. and Rick Sinner driving the van. Tony talks about the shirt he when he has a kid. So he goes, yes, I'm back. So I heard Russell Jr. October 4th being your reverse show. Keeps it passing. Bookmark the day. He says, sell scene. Purple occasion. Travel in America. Honor all the cars. Here's Inoki made. Tony has about the SNCG. I say dispatch a relief. Man, Tony asked for any comment. Yeah, about such a buyer portion. Tony said they didn't clarify comments. The population is great. My portion started from and Tony prevents the high rate on accomplishments of any of his years. Ventures a year. I so think he's going to keep doing ventures things. Saying that you this year you want to build your reputation a strong way. Incredibility to doing shows. Great things. Program, a great shows I put on the on take it like an injury, so game plan, get knocked out of the game. Says he's happy for what right now, but I'll clarify what the era, new era, AW will be. Tony's asked between Kungs and Shabbat, said the dream man continues to hype the match. Travis just upheld his team to got recently. They love the wrestling and since Shabbat's projects this different way because he's to hit the match this weekend. That's some connection issues. I can hear the end of the question beginning this one, but Tony talked about the Warner Brothers that he have running control of EW said it's important to him. He has no interest in changing the control. Tony's asked about Warlord. He'll be back on Warlord. will be back on TV when time's right. He's very much still part of what they're doing in AEW. That line, he's on for a minute. I know there was a question. Oh, Tony talking about right now? He was talking about looking on wrestling TV and telling a chance at point. 
Max is talking about Russell Dream. I'm talking about his accomplishments on fans. Tony's about the Royal Rage title appearing on TV and Zobie's brand separation was continuing to see wrestling going back and forth. Tony Hawk's about the 96 star power with Hung Box holding six man tiles. Say the Royal Rage is strong as ever been in the nine day, better than four years ago. He said that the Eagles see more of the top star appear on Royal Rage show now their titles. I hope you step out of the appearance on Royal Rage. Talks about that in the work course. Billy Gick Starks. He talks about the great champions. They held our age to put a client to our right, put a good thing. Let me see how they accompany for the show. Made the switch to the other because the tone didn't come to the event, so now we ended up running together. We continue to put over a kid against the agony. Again, I missed the question on the Jay, but now he's been telling Jay her how great she was on the curb one. Talk about her match with Stanley this weekend. Match with Stan Chris, yes, he's been a bit top star, loves York and Julius, so he's a great TV champ. He's all her development as a Stanley. <laughs> Tony has for the consideration. Eventually, he was staying in both room, going off a story about how to hook at the Grand Slam. Now he's talking about Hook's recent match and clash in RVD. Now, the clips on readings against Ohio. And he's saying, open the RVD return in the future. We'd love to have him back anytime. Makes sense for everyone. And Tony was asked by MJF, he put over. He was not coming to us. He told us he, Tony was against the potential of being on Fox now, so I was moving. He said that the, like he said the deal was up in 2024. He could love to stay with Warner. Tony said he cares about the people here and that is a fan business. He said he loved it there and learned about his discovery. So she was their head. He had Fox, the great place for sports and wrestling. His goal is a key in every Warner Bros. discovery forever. Says he will probably take a penny or two less to say what it was covered. Thing they have done for instance, he feels everything they offered or should be benefit with the performance they had. He's happy what it was covered and the company's strongest since they launched Collision. Talks on how to tell stories, deep develop talent with more hours of TV. He he appreciates their team for what was covered, how to play show possible to uh, discover. Discovery more. And uh, Tony closes by happy tomorrow. I like just beat Dynamite Wrestling Ring weekend this weekend. Thank you for all of us now that this one possible without coverage. Online wrestling community appreciates all of us. Our comments, our thoughts. Said the Bible Wrestling A incredible positive right now. Said he was a prime before he promoted Ritter before he was a business and he feels like they're the best run things have been ever since. This Sunday is very important. Talk about honoring the legend of Inoki. Hope to see us somewhere soon. Thanks again. Mia called. Yeah. Now we go to updates on Serena D missing. Five supports Serena D. Grass to major heat wave of management caused her to be removed from TV prior to injury. Currently recovered from. D was say entering her just by time she would be company in 20 class pet food with a really cutting time for a match. Just won't tell her she was ready to go out. Yeah, sources reported tell five that they were showing the, their proof that this was the case. The company and other wrestling company waited for the format to finalize for telling their time for times to prevent from a frustrated time chain of cards. D tells her friend she's still injured, where it can be clear. She has not, not told the story that she was close to her. The company heard this version of the events. Yeah, pretty much D is, is still hurt. Yeah. She'll be back. <laughs> All right, New Japan's MLWC announced strategic, strategic alliance. Three companies announced the formation of a new partnership. MLWC, MLL, and New Japan working together. CML4 announced today that CML has formed an alliance with MLW along with a long-time partner in Japan. MLW makes a joint statement for a landmark. Hank, 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 Between three companies, it's a privilege on to forge alliance with CML and work with Mr. Pound, Salvador, Lutero, Romero, and his team with all expanding MLW relationship with New Japan in an extraordinary collaboration. So MLW CEO, Court Bauer, said in the last release, I, wanna, I wish to thank Mr. Salvador, Lou, uh, Mr. Naki Shibashi, Mr. Takami Obar, and Rock and Member Builders Foundation for this opportunity. We're looking forward to showcasing certain talent from Mexico, Japan, America for fans worldwide. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. 
Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that was the wrestling news. Uh, I'll see you Monday. I'll see you on Monday for the Wrestle Dream review. And after that, Saturday, a new up. I mean, Sunday, a new episode of Ghost of the League podcast. Well, see you Monday for my pay per view review. And, and next Sunday for my episode of Ghost of the League podcast. Bye.